by the time this is happening, much of what we have heard, much of what God has been doing in this season, in that time, in regards to music, is not very well defined. You see music appearing well in the Christian context, or rather in the Israel, Israelite context in Exodus chapter 15. And then from there, progressively, you don't see anything else. Now, don't forget that in Genesis chapter 4, the sons of Cain, I think is his name, Tubal Cain or Jubal, Tubal Cain, had the dominion over music. In other words, this thing began and the dominion of music was already taken. The authority of music was already taken. So, yeah, so the dominion of music is already in the hands of the sons of Cain. There are instruments that have been prescribed for worship. There are things that have already been released for worship. But that dominion in music or that the musical dominion is still being handled by others. You're not hearing much of it. You're not hearing much of singers. You're not hearing nothing is coming out definitely. But then if you read your Bible, the Bible says that David was a man after God's own heart. God said, I have chosen a man after my own heart. And he said, and he will do all my will. This man will do all my will. He is a man after my heart and he will do everything I desire for him to do. In other words, he will not just do what is required, but he will do what is in my heart. And the first thing that happened was that God did not just bring David to rule the kingdom. God gave David a dominion. Gave David a dominion. And the Lord, and the Lord is with him. The Lord is with him. So the multifaceted expression of music was carried by this man called David. some of these things we'll talk about them later on in the successive days but it is very interesting to note this because music in our day has been boiled down to entertainment it's become all levels of contro controversy and all kinds of things but there comes a time just as it happened in the time of Saul so also because this was not something that Satan initiated this was something that the Lord initiated in other words the move of God in that time made a demand for David, the multi-gifted, the multifaceted individual to be made manifest in that season. So the distressing spirit or the evil spirit or the demonic attack over the life of Saul was not of a demon. Why? Because this man that has been trained in the backside of the, of, of the wilderness. This man that has been preparing his heart. But he has not just been preparing his heart. He has been preparing his skill. He has been training himself and perfecting himself for a season that he did not even know. My wife was telling me of some very strange fashion that has come up right now. Ladies apparently are wearing bikers and a t-shirt. So she was telling me she was walking in town and then she saw this happening and then she was wondering, is it a memo I never received? <laughs> was this something we were supposed to all be doing? Because quite a number of people were doing it. So when she went to research, she found the person behind it is who? It's Beyonce. It's Beyonce's fashion. In other words, it's a musician. Because there's something about music and dominion. That a lot of people have not understood. That's the reason why the sons of Cain caught it. The sons of Cain caught three very major things. They caught industry, manufacturing. They, they were heading cattle, which is the sign of finance in the time. Right? And they were heading music. Those were their three dominions. He was the father of all that handled the harp. He was the father of all musicians. So there's a dominion aspect to it. 
And it had not yet been revealed up until the time when, David, when God said, this man called David is not just a good looking man. He's not just a king. But his construct will enable him to have dominion on the earth. And he will behave himself in such a way that the kingdom will be his perpetually. There was something about that relationship. Now, let me explain something to you. One of the things we are, one of the major problems we are having right now. I think you've heard me state this before. And let me just state it for the sake of emphasis. Major rebellions in churches are brought by who? The praise and worship teams. Praise and worship teams. If a church will be split, the pastor that is splitting the church, the first group of people that he will walk out with is not ushers, is not intercessors. Who does he walk out with first? The singers. Why? It's a dominion. It's a dominion. But the context of its operation is what has not been understood for generations. The unfortunate thing, we are seeing the seed of Cain, and the Bible tells us Cain was of the evil one. We are seeing that seed of Cain taking possession where they become the industry controllers. Is it not what the Bible tells us in Genesis chapter 4? That he was the father of all. So one of the things for, the, for you that are not involved a lot in music is that for you to advance musically, you must always have a godfather of some sort. You must always have endorsements. You can be very good musically, but people will never hear your music. <laughs> you can be an amazing musician. Nobody will hear your music. Why? Because it is being fathered. It, it's, a, it's a thing that has certain authorities. Right? Certain authorities, certain people are magnified within their day. They're given that rulership. They're given that dominion. Now, I want you to remember this very keenly. That by the time God is beginning to give the mystery of music to this man called David, don't forget that the seed of Cain is not destroyed. Meaning from the very beginning of time, they have been having this dominion. You understand what I'm talking about? They have been having this dominion. They have been controlling things. Some people are controlling things. Music is being defined in a certain way. If you don't play it like that, if you don't understand music in that context, you, you are not a musician. But God initiated something and that's why it is very important in this particular day for everyone that will operate in the Davidic house to understand that the Davidic house is first dominion. Is music he is not first and foremost a man of valor he is first and foremost a skilled musician he is not a man that knows how to fight fast he is a man that knows how to handle the harp so everything else that he has learned is in the context everything else that he knows is in that context in the context of what of music Warfare, he has learned through music. A mighty man of valor, he has learned it through music. So everything that he has, until he comes to a place where he is not just skilled, but the Lord, but the Lord is with him. But the Lord is with him. All this is from the space of what? Of music. Because before he deals with Goliath, he must get access to the king. The interesting thing, if you read that first Samuel chapter 16 and chapter 17, in chapter 17, it's like, it's like Saul does not even know David because he is multifaceted. Uh, it's like he does not know him. He has already loved this man. But when he comes to the battleground in chapter 17, it's like he does not know him. Whose lad is this? Isn't this the same man that said he loved him in chapter, seven, chapter 16? He said he saw him, he loved him. But now he comes in another expression. The unfortunate thing is that we are wanting, especially we musicians, we people that are in the music industry, we want to be known as musicians. And that's why all what you can do is entertain. It's very unfortunate. Let me say this, but it's 
It's a very unfortunate thing. That the highest peak of a lot of musicians, especially Christian musicians, is winning an award, having your music on skizer tunes, and then stop stopping to minister in churches because now they can no longer afford you. You're now doing corporate gigs. Look at the counterparts in the secular world. When you begin mentioning their names, you find they have enterprises. They have things that they are doing. Why? Because they are using music as a dominion. Music is their dominion. From that dominion, they are allowing themselves to be multifaceted. So you will find this person has a business empire. He's doing this, he's doing that, he's doing the other. Yeah. Our Christian counterparts try it a bit and then they find. Because they are doing it as a side hustle. So you what, you what. It's very unfortunate because the unfortunate thing, we are learning it from the world. The key thing is that that multifaceted expression is carried along by one factor. The Lord is with him. For music to be a dominion, not an entertainment, for it to be a dominion, it must be pushed by a spirit. It is always pushed by a spirit. Music that is of consequence in the earth realms. Music that makes people to shift, to get a culture, to adapt a culture, is always backed by a spirit. These people don't first spend a lot of time in practice, they spend a lot of time in the spirit influence. The Lord was with him. I want you to understand this, that the unveiling of David never came until the anointing was poured on his head. He was not manifested as a musician until the anointing oil was poured on his head. You're not manifested as a musician. You're not manifested in the musical spheres because you're talented. Beyond talent, who is with you? Who is with you? Because that narrows your mind. The lack of a packing spirit narrows your mind. And as long as you begin, and this is especially for musicians, as long as you begin to operate in the spheres of music without having loyalty to a spirit, you will be taken over by a spirit. The Lord was with him. The Lord was with him. There was something about when he sang. We did not hear talent. We experienced God. When he sang, it was well with soul. When he sang, when he sang, it was well with soul. And the last thing is because God was with this man, even after he defeated Goliath, David did not go to take over the kingdom, even though the women were singing about him. David did not go and assume control over the army because he's the one that had defeated. David went back to handle the harp before Saul. And the same spirit that was afflicting him rose up against him. And when that happened, the Bible says he began to prophesy. And yet, the contrary spirit was not stopped by exegesis. They did not analyze the prophetic word from Saul to know that it is false based on scripture. <laughs> no, a man that had the dominion of music played and, F, and the Bible says, and he went quiet. But by the time he is coming down, he already has a spear in his hand. And he threw it. He said, I'm going to pin David to the wall. But when he threw the spear, David ducked twice. Ducked twice. If David was some of the musicians of our day, he would have tweeted, he would have formed a group, hashtag stop 
the king from killing me. He did it twice. He was appointed differently. The Bible says, but he behaved himself wisely. How are we going? How is Christendom going to get its dominion on the earth? It's by the pattern of David. Because the pattern of David is what sets in motion the kingdom. Meaning that we will have to take over the space of music. Learn warfare in that dominion of music. Learn how to get our countenance changed. Because the Bible says he was a good looking man. Right? His countenance changed. If, if some of you know about... Uh, you've researched anything about uh, Beyonce. Unfortunately, I, mention, I have to mention her name. They, there are two personalities that she has. There is a personality that... The, the one that goes to interviews. But then there is the one that is on stage. The one that goes to stage is who? It's called Sasha Fears, right? Sasha Fears. Right? That person, it's the same woman, but if you take photos and look at them, it's two completely different people. So there is a countenance aspect depending on the atmosphere that you're in. So, it's something that is defined about David. He say, the Bible says that he was good looking. That good look was coming out of what? The expression of the good spirit within him. His face, the face of God, would shine upon his face. And he would become another man. Somebody else. A totally different entity. The Lord was with him. The Lord was with him. The Lord was with him. So that is the first space that the church of Christ must come back to. I know we are working hard to come back to the spaces where we have influence in politics. That will not happen until we get a dominion in regards to our music. Until we come to a place whereby when we sing, something happens. Somebody gets an encounter they never would get unless they were in that atmosphere. Where skill is great, but God is more. Skill is great, but God is more. People don't come out with that feeling that these people really sang well. They come out with that encounter. It is well with them. That must be a space we come back to occupy. Because it is very interesting how this thing works. In my few years of ministry, as I have been in the music scene, in the music ministry for this while, I have realized that everything that flows out, when we're talking about music, music is normally, especially for vocalists, you sing out of your belly. Meaning what fills your belly is very critical. Out of your belly shall flow out rivers of living water. They call it the natural amplifier. So out of your belly, so what is it that fills you will determine if when you sing, we will clap or it shall be well with us. Until we come to that place where somebody cannot sing a certain song, they cannot play a certain song while holding a beer bottle because it's been very ridiculous. We say we are now preaching in the bars and then they're singing our songs with a beer bottle. Meaning our songs are cultivating the spirit of drunkenness we will have to come back to this dominion. Not just excellence, beyond excellence, because excellence is very critical, but there is another dimension beyond it. If I will handle the harp, if I will be skillful in it, then I must be a man of valor. I must be a man of war. I must get to a place that when I begin to pray, I prevail in prayer. That I'm not being defeated by habits. Because it is like every wicked habit is always with a musician. Before even the nation begins to know anything about homosexuality, a, the person singing there is already lifting their hands like, and we're all asking questions. But then we close our eyes and lift our hands. We have got to come to this thing as a dominion. The church must occupy it as a dominion. Music must stop being an interlude and begin to be a dominion. 
it must become the main thing within the service it must become the main thing that we do let everything else that we do come from that altar of music that's how the davidic kingdom operates that's how this man will come and take a stone and kill a giant that all the weaponry of Saul cannot handle it's a dominion one of the challenges that I had to go through and this is the challenge of a lot of skilled musicians is that you are always being told especially when you begin to concentrate in this space you are always being told that you are a fool you should be making money with it you should be making money it should not just be for the Lord you should be making money with it and this is what has been removing this dominion from the church but now in this season God has begun to do another outpouring beginning to manifest David and as he manifests David it means the solical empire within that time within that space will receive another spirit not from satan not from satan from the lord there will begin to be troubles that will be sorted out in an atmosphere <laughs> in an atmosphere there are things there are diseases that people will be carried into an atmosphere my wife gave me a testimony of before we got married she used to pastor a church in milimani and one time as they were just worshipping and praising some people brought a dead person someone was dead and they came and they put him on the floor they were, it was not a big church it was just a small a small congregation and they began to sing because that's majorly what used to happen and when they began to sing and they began to worship and they were in that intense atmosphere this person woke up and joined them and we continued to sing with them that's what I'm calling dominion that's not just a good song <laughs> how do you tell a dead person lift your hands if you don't lift them God will take them away We must come out from being hype masters. We must get to a place whereby even we, when we come to a worship service, we refuse to be hyped. We refuse to be hyped. No, let's get the dominion. We're going through too much. We're going through too much. For me to prevail, even economically, in a COVID-19 world, I need a dominion. So, so let's not entertain Let's get the dominion. Let, let it be a David that is leading us. Uh, not a generation of Tubal King. No, we, we need a David. We need, we need to have the kingdom. So that we begin to say, because Jesus said, if by the finger of God, I cast out demons from me. What is the finger of God? The spirit of God. How is the spirit of God going to be manifested? The Bible says the spirit of the Lord was upon, came upon David from that day forward. So the spirit of the Lord comes upon a person. Then through that person, he comes upon people. If I, by the finger of God, I'm casting out devils from you. He says that the kingdom of God is what? Is among you. The kingdom of God is among you. If that is happening, if what is transpiring is by the Holy Ghost, then we are talking about kingdom. Meaning that when we live there, we are not hyped up. I'm not just telling you go and rule. No, the kingdom the kingdom is literally in your hands. You depart from that atmosphere and the kingdom is in your hands. You are ruling, you are reigning, you are having dominion, you are having authority. It is in your hands. It's not just hype. It must come back. It must stop being an interlude. <laughs> Between when the service starts and when the man of God comes. I must be a dominion. Where we begin to have people that are paying to be skillful. Paying the 
caused to be skillful so that not because they want to be paid but because they have got to get a kingdom the bible says we're receiving a kingdom that cannot pass away we're receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken so we've got to position ourselves in such a way that they will say what you're dealing with does not need psychotherapy it does not need a psychologist there is a man that has the ability there is a woman that has the ability that when they lift their voice it is not just a skillful voice when they open their mouth it's not just it's not just a nice voice that comes out but it is the wellness and wholeness of your being that comes out from them that no matter what was troubling you even when it is coming from the Lord it is silenced even when it is coming from the Lord it's not a demon it's coming from the Lord the Bible says who has on the mind of God that he may instruct him <laughs> oh, who has on the mind of God that he may instruct him but even that which is from the Lord is the silence in the life of a person by the same Lord it's a dominion before we fell Goliath before they begin to sing David has killed his ten thousands ah let's get the dominion by the time we're finishing this conference let's get the dominion get the dominion may the Lord give you a song that when you will go go to your company when you go to your industries when you go to the place where your hands work you will have a song that will give you territorial dominance within that space you kabushata you will get a song that will give you the authority over that atmosphere. Yes. Eh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. We are not skilled for nothing. Young men, we are not skilled for nothing. It's for this season. There is a soul that must get some madness. They must get to a place where the anointing oil which they carry and the salt that they carry is not working when they begin to be told this one this one does not need midnight prayers this one there is someone that has a song that will bring your deliverance and let me tell you this don't think we will be reproached the Bible says Saul loved him. We will be replacing an entire empire. But they will be loving us in the process. They will be celebrating us. They will be saying that, that, that person when they sing. They will just love you. Where is it? 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 You are their replacement instead of them hating you. Ha. Instead of them hating you. And when they decide to be malicious to you, God will give you the wisdom to act in such a way that they will fear you. Since when he saw him that he acted wisely, <laughs> the Bible says he was afraid.
Holy Spirit telling me right now that his name is releasing some uncommon things, some solutions. There are people that came to this service that needed solutions. He has just told me that his name is providing uncommon solutions. Thank you, Holy Ghost. His name, his name, the name Jesus has been exalted in this house that someone that should have been ashamed is now lifted. Someone that should have been put to shame. Someone that should have been silenced. That name has worked a wonder. That name has worked a miracle. The name Jesus. The name Jesus. The name Jesus. The name Jesus. Yes, it must be well with you as we sang this small song. It must be well with you. It is well. It is well with you. 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 You are not being put to shame. It is well. It is well. It is well. Whatever trouble you has departed from you.
prayers to heaven. Father, we bless your name. We bless the name of Jesus. Thank you for the dominion of David. Thank you for the tabernacle of David. You said it shall be established in these last days. The tabernacle of David. The tabernacle of David. The dominion of David. That which made a man in the back place of the wilderness. To be seen and to sit on the throne. That is the dominion you are handing us. And we bless you for it. And we worship you. And we magnify you. For that dominion. We bless you. For that dominion. We magnify you for that dominion. Great is the Lord. Great is the Holy One of Israel that is accomplishing this in our hearts. Hey, glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 have to consider but when you Offering quickly. If you need an envelope for your partnership,
some time for those that are not finished. Tomorrow we are starting at 10 a.m. Offering up. Father, we thank you for what you began to do here. Thank you for this week. It's going to be a glorious week. What a way to start in your glory. What a way to start in your presence. Thank you for the dominion of David. And I pray for every giver right now. May you bless them. May you increase them on every side. Show yourself strong and mighty on their behalf. Fight every one of their battles. And Lord, as we gather again tomorrow, let we are coming to celebrate in the tabernacles of David. We are coming to celebrate because the kingdom, the house of David must grow. It must increase greatly in this day. So we bless you Lord and we praise you. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Lift both your hands. I speak the blessing of the Lord of your life. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious unto you. May he give you his peace. I pray that everything that has been said in this house will be your reality. May you be made manifest as the seed of David, as the one that has an eternal kingdom. May you not let, not let go of eternity. Press toward eternity. I decree this blessing over your life. I decree that you are blessed by El Eloi Israel. God, even our God of Israel. From this time henceforth and forevermore. In Jesus' name.